Hey VHS, I'm Abby So, and today we're going to interview Sean Caston on public policy. Could you give us a brief overview on your approach to environmental policy and climate change? Um, yes, the, we have so much urgency that we have to act on climate change and so little that we have done about it to date. And if I accomplish nothing in this term, it's getting my colleagues to recognize that we have to act yesterday and we have to act in a much more sophisticated way than we've, we've been acting. We have huge opportunities primarily because our economy is so energy inefficient. And if we look at trading partners that use a lot less energy per dollar of GDP than we do, we can copy what they do and we can grow our economy and lower the CO2. We also have to do a ton of R&D because we're going to need new technologies to get all the way to zero. We need to figure out how to pull at least 100 parts per million of CO2 out of the atmosphere. That is a really hard problem, but we got to talk about it. Because if we stay at the level we're at right now, setting aside that we keep going every day, um, we can basically kiss a lot of the eastern seaboard goodbye. Mm -hmm. And we need to, that's hard to say. We can fix it, but we got to start acting. And from a representative standpoint, how will you address the beliefs and concerns of both the conservative and liberal side? Look, if you don't believe in climate change, you don't deserve respect. What are some ways BHS students can get more involved in the political world? Number one, vote. Learn what the issues are. Meet the candidates everybody's out trying to meet right now. So that's your chance to really get engaged. And, you know, as I said to the students here today, don't vote based on party. Vote because try to figure out what are the big issues that matter to you. and then. Ask the candidates where they sit on those issues. Because um, there's a very lazy, one of the challenges of party affiliation is we tend to assume that party affiliation tracks to a set of values. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but we elect people. We don't elect parties. Um, so find out where the policies are, find out where people are, and you'll see them because they're all out there right now trying to win votes. So if they know you're a voter, they're going to be eager to talk to you. And lastly, what are your future plans after your term ends? Um, <laughs> So I never, ever thought I would be a member of Congress. Um, literally two years before I ran, my best friend from college said to me, you should run for Congress. <laughs> um, so for me to say at this point, since three years ago, I didn't think I'd be a member of Congress, and now I'm here now, that I know what I'm going to be doing 10 years down the road, be pretty presumptuous. I'm going to be continuing to be fighting for building jobs, growing the economy, trying to make sure that we are passing a better world to our kids than I got from my parents. And in, in recent history, that brought me into political life. We'll see where this ride takes me. A huge thank you to Kasten's team for visiting BHS and interacting with students. Now back to you guys at the studio.